The brand new show, The Strain, debuts on FX in July. And guess what? Canadian actress Natalie Brown, there she is, joining us from Toronto. Good morning. Tell us about Good this morning, brand new Vancouver. gig. Good morning, Vancouver. Pretty exciting stuff. Um, nice intro, by the way. Uh, yeah, it's uh, The Strain is based on the trilogy of award-winning books, The Strain Trilogy, and brought to you by the Oscar-nominated and winning uh, Guillermo del Toro. It's a one-hour high-concept thriller that tells the story of a team of doctors that work for the Center of Disease Control are investigating a mysterious outbreak with hallmarks of a strain of ancient vampirism and how it unleashes itself on New York City. Oh, man, it's freaky. That's just a start. It's freaky. We're looking at some of the viz right now, and I was just saying to you during the break, Natalie, you watch the trailer, you feel like this is a movie in uh, Guillermo del Toro. I mean, you have uh, such an epic filmmaker. First small screen series for the man. How closely did he yeah. work with you guys on set? Uh, very closely. I mean, you get the magnitude of one of his feature films, but broken up over 13 amazing episodes that are so gripping, and it's a thrill ride from start to finish. And shooting the pilot with him was just a dream because he is uh, really down to earth and always joking around, but also really, really specific. I mean, he's a genius at work who loves to play. He's got the imagination of a small boy with the genius mind of a, well, he's maybe not the god, but a god in my mind, and <laughs> it was just a dream come true to work with him. You know, this genre of the world is coming to an end. We see it time and time again on TV. The Walking Dead's a popular one with a massive following. How do you think the strain will differentiate it from, uh, from shows already on TV right now? Well, Guillermo's been a collector and lover of vampire lore for decades, and so he's here to definitely set the record straight. This is, these are not vampires of the brooding, romantic, sparkly face category. This is definitely a darker turn on the tale, but it also isn't just about vampires. It's about humanity at large and how the threat of a viral outbreak affects everyday citizens. Um, it knows no boundaries of virus, and in the same sense, I don't think that any one of you will be immune to the strain. Oh, there's the tease right there. And your role in this yeah. show? Oh, what are we going to see you doing on screen for the 13 episodes? I play, I play Kelly Goodweather, and I am the soon-to-be ex-wife of the lead, Ephraim Goodweather, played by none other than Corey Stoll, who you may know from House of Cards, who is just an amazingly talented actor. And he plays the head of the CDC, Center of Disease Control. And unfortunately, the demands of his job don't make for the makings of a very good husband. He's just not physically or emotionally available to me, and so I'm a more practical woman who wants what's best for her son. So fiercely protective mother and looking for a more normal, stable home life, which I find in a new boyfriend who works for Sears. Uh, unfortunately, her timing <laughs> might be a little bit off because things are about to get a little crazy for Kelly and everyone else. I love and for you, when you watch. I can't wait. I love how specific you get. Emotion, vampires, Guillermo del Toro. Final question, does doing a show like this make you a germaphobe? Because I'm just thinking with the strains and the viruses. <gasps> it's kind of My character's a bit of a germaphobe, yeah. but I'm not. David Suzuki will tell you we all need to get our hands a little dirtier and then lick them. <laughs> Build our immunity. Words he does, he said it. it. Right there. Okay, so I guess I'll put my hand sanitizer away that I make our, our co-host Jody use every single day. Thanks for the words, Natalie. Thanks so much. Can't wait. All right, Natalie Brown right there, starring in the brand new show, The Strain. Again, FX in July. Tune in for that one.